Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tiffy and today I wanted to try to recreate a candle that I saw around the holiday season. I actually bought this and showed it in the holiday gift guide and I thought this was an amazing gift and a really cool way to upcycle beer bottles or wine glasses. So I'm going to show you how I made this beer bottle candle. So you're going to need an empty beer bottle or wine bottle. I would recommend getting a glass that has the artwork actually printed on the bottle because the paper will melt away. So you're also going to need some sort of pot to melt your wax in. You can also use an old candle. So you're also going to need a glass cutter. Mine that I bought off of Amazon came with this glass tapper and this sandpaper as well. So a link will be in the description where I got it. You're also gonna need to purchase some candle wicks. I am using soy wax. I also bought this off of Amazon. And you're also gonna need a hot glue gun as well as some glue sticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some olive oil and just put a little bit of oil in the blade. Be very, very careful here and read your instructions for your glass cutter. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I had to go through about five different bottles to get the scoring correctly. It's very, very delicate. So make sure to read the directions and have a lot of patience, but you don't want the score to be super deep and you don't want to repeat over the line because going too deep will cause cracking. So it should look something like this. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some safety gloves. You can wear safety glasses as well. And what I'm doing is I am running some cold water and running the score line right under there. I've boiled some water and have it in my little tea kettle and I'm pouring it over the scoring line as well. So what this is going to do is the temperature change is going to cause the glass to hopefully break off cleanly. And I did actually succeed in this. And you can see right here the glass just pops right off. Again, this is kind of a learning process, so have a lot of patience while doing this. So now I'm smoothing out my glass by using some sandpaper and just kind of twisting it around. Make sure to do this on a paper plate and throw it away after you're done. So now I am pouring the soy wax into my this is a candle pot that I bought off of Amazon as well. I will have all the links in the description for you guys. But go ahead and put this over a stove and let it melt. Go ahead and prepare your wick. I have my hot glue gun on hand and ready to go. And just placing some glue on the base of the wick and gluing it down to the glass. Since this is a long glass, I am using a fork to kind of push it down. And then I'm using that fork to lean the wick up against so it doesn't fall while I pour the wax into the beer bottle. So now I'm grabbing another fork and just kind of placing the wick in between it so it doesn't move around while it's drying. And once it's dry, it took the whole night to completely dry. I just cut the wick off and you're completely done. I am a huge fan of these. I think these make really great gifts for men or beer drinkers. Cutting glass is definitely a challenge, so make sure to wear all your protective gear and have a bunch of patience, but I wish you guys luck. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later.